Getty William Hague said UKIP no longer serves a purpose The UK Independence Party UKIP was founded in 1993 after the signing of the Maastricht Treaty which founded the European Union with the sole purpose of achieving the UK's withdrawal from the bloc. Former Conservative Party leader William Hague believes they have succeeded in the goal due to the vote to leave in the 2016 EU referendum and it is time for the party to bow out gracefully. Mr Haig said UKIP played a big role in changing the course of British and European history, but the only way to ensure the change they wanted really happens is to stand behind ministers who are faithfully trying to execute it in the unlikely event of another sudden general election, Brexit, might well depend on the Conservatives winning it. And in an election in a few years' time, Brexit will have happened and arguing about its details will be academic. He goes on to say that the Conservatives are deadly serious about implementing Brexit and in four years British politics will be based around party politics and since UKIP is a single-issue party, they have no purpose since achieving their objective. Mr. Egg even pens a mock resignation letter for the party for Henry Bolton's party, the best way to Evert a long, fruitless and miserable battle for existence always on the edge of solvency and only in the news for embarrassments, is to issue a statement that goes something like this in UKIP we have achieved. Our objective of the British people voting to leave the European Union and the wishes being respected. Now, is the time formally to suspend our activities and for each of us to contribute to politics in New ways are to leave it, we emphasize, however, that should any doubt arise about withdrawal from the EU, in the coming months, we will be ready to resume our campaigning with all the energy and support that would come from a failure to deliver the wishes of the people, the former Welsh Secretary goes on to say that the British voters are not stupid and that they used UKIP to trigger the election without ever intending to vote them into office. Writing in the Telegraph, he added, when they gave UKIP 25% of the vote in the 2014 European elections, or 12% in the 2015 general election, they knew what they were doing, which was forcing a referendum on EU membership, that is why the votes for UKIP fell to 1.8% last year, once that referendum had been obtained with the result they wanted. He also goes on to lambast the leaders of UKIP for failing to manage the party effectively and claims the high turnover of leaders is symptomatic of a party falling apart. Mr Haig continues, why do all these people last only days or weeks, and the one enduring one, Mr Farage, himself, not want to do it anymore? It is not because none of them are able people. It can't be that they all, without exception, find the pressure of being suddenly in the media too much to bear. No, it is because they do not know why they exist as a party anymore, and cannot communicate a reason for it to the media, the voters, or possibly even themselves. The party is asking each of its leaders, good or bad, to do the impossible, and then blaming them for being unable to do it. The former Tory leader then took a swipe at current leader Henry Bolton's choice of ex-girlfriend. The self-declared bad girl of Brexit, Mr Bolton split with model Joe Marnie whom he left his wife for recently. After a newspaper published derogatory comments she made about Prince Harry's fiancée Meghan Markle in Black People. Twitter MR Bolton left his girlfriend after racist texts emerged. Yems Marnie described Meghan Markle, whose father is white and mother is African American, as a dumb little commoner, and said, her seed will taint our royal family, according to published texts. Mr. Haig said, I make no judgment on the personal relationships involved, the breakdown of which must be a deep trauma for all concerned, yet we are all entitled to pass judgment on the messages about Meghan Markle sent by Joe Marnie, a party activist and the erstwhile girlfriend of Henry Bolton, the new leader, which were racist and disgusting in the extreme, dishing out abuse of anyone on the basis of the racial origin is now, thankfully, totally unacceptable in private or public life, as the reaction to these messages has demonstrated. Getty Emma Haig calls on UKIP activists to join the Tories to fight Labour, a political party. That so visibly struggles to be in tune with that as UKIP in its current state does not have a promising future. If it is to survive at all, it will have to expunge the thinking 
If people like Mosmani, he finishes by calling on UKIP voters to come back to the Conservatives to fight against Jeremy Corbyn. Mr. Haig concludes, whatever the leanings, I believe most of the remaining voters do not favor a hard-left, neo-Marxist, Corbyn-style government, and when the next election does come that is the possibility they will have to face up to, when they voted for a sovereign, independent Britain, did they have in mind one with a Prime Minister who has little time for the Western alliance, despises America, undermines our nuclear deterrent and taxes our firms out of business. Sometime in the next four years, this will be the electoral battle in the UK, and leaving the EU will be the battle UKIP fought and won. In the past, the 600,000 people who still voted for them in 2017 will need to decide where they stand on that new dividing line.